with eight floors and 2300 plus shops I mean this is so big you can find literally anything good morning from Bangkok good morning. in Thailand we arrived here yesterday so time is about half past nine in the evening we have been traveling all day and we're hungry and we are just exhausted yeah it was a pretty long and rough travel day yeah. and after a good night's sleep here at our stay we are now heading out for some shopping at MBK shopping mall yeah and uh, actually the fact is Vanessa here beside me this beautiful woman <laughs> is turning 30 in a couple of days so we have to find her address and maybe me address too <laughs> yeah maybe a dress or maybe a shirt or something like that maybe, maybe a blue dress so uh, we're heading out there right away and we're actually going to take a grab a taxi there because we compare the prices with the like train sky train and it was like one or two dollars in difference and we only have one day in bangkok so yeah. we're gonna do the most out of this day yeah. are you ready to go there and have a breakfast first and then some shopping yes. all right <laughs> let's go guys hi guys <laughs> now there are several different types of shopping malls that you can go to this is a more budget friendly one and that is because you can shop more stuff for a cheaper price which is what we're looking for because yeah we are budget travelers so uh, let's save some money So we just stepped out of the cab. Grab is actually an application that you can download to your phone. It's an online taxi application kind of thing. And we paid $5 for a 30 minute ride. And it would take us late, maybe like 45 minutes to take the SkyTrain. And that would land us around $3. So it's totally up to you how you're getting around in this town in Bangkok. We actually have a way to keep track on all of our expenses on our travels and that is by using an application called Travel Spend so we can track every expense such as accommodation, food, transportation and so on. So we make sure that we stay within our budget. Now with over 2,300 stores in this insane Thai mall you will never get bored. We are now heading over to floor six out of eight. Yeah, it's eight floors of clothing, foods and stuff like that in this insane mall. So we're heading over to the sixth floor to have a breakfast, hopefully, yeah. because we are super hungry, like we're always super hungry. But with over 2,300 stores, I think I'm quite positive that we will find something for you to wear on your yeah. 30th birthday. <laughs> now, one cool fact about this particular mall, the MBK mall here in Bangkok, is actually that you are able to bargain the prices with some vendors inside of this mall. I have never ever been to a mall where you can bargain the prices. Normally, at least in Sweden or in other countries in Europe, you have fixed prices on all items and all things in whoop. there is quite a lot of options to eat something here maybe we want to eat some kind of breakfast-ish food so we'll see if we find that so with literally like hundreds of restaurants and smoothie shops etc it's not a problem to find vegetarian or vegan food at level six in this mall which is great for us so this isn't a typical breakfast for a Westerner, but I'm super excited to try out Pad Thai in Thailand. So the system to go around uh, all this like food stalls here is that you're topping up a card with the amount that you would like or think you would spend on foods and you can have it for a day and then you can just return the card and you will get the money back that you have still on this card. Cool. One thirty. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. All right. So one thirty is about maybe five dollars, almost five dollars, four four and a half dollars for two meals here in this mall, which is awesome. Let's eat. So now we'll see if pad thai in Thailand is better than in any other country. 
So to be honest, this pad thai was good, but it wasn't the best that I've had. So the hunt for a real authentic proper pad thai is still on. Now we're still on the sixth floor and here is where we're gonna start look after a dress and maybe a shirt for me. And the reason why we are still on the sixth floor is because it's cheaper to find goods here. The rent is more expensive for all these shops and like stalls, the closer to the ground you get. So I just found a new case for my phone and the lady wanted 200 baht which is about $5 but I bargained it down to 150 baht so I saved some money there. It's quite fun to bargain inside of a shopping center, first time ever and a win. It's so cold in here, my lips are like blue, so make sure to dress up warmly or with warm clothes <laughs> if you're coming to malls in Thailand. <laughs> it looks like you went limp, babe. Yeah, I don't know what happened, something here is like hurting. When Maybe I'm you're walking. freezing too much? Yeah. <laughs> with eight floors and 2,300 plus shops, I mean, this is so big, you can find literally anything. We just went into like a tailor-made suit kind of shop, but it was a little bit too expensive. But anyways, there's like so much things to see here. You have to visit one of these malls if you're ever seeing yourself in Bangkok. I think I found it, don't you think? Yeah, it looks <laughs> awesome. Put it on. How cool, right? Yeah. yeah, like a kid. And you can find stores with a lot of cute stuff like these here, mirrors and a bunny or yeah. Your new friends. <laughs> yeah. So we actually found like a street food market just outside the mall. So we are going to try Pad Thai once again here. Right. That was a quite a filled plate. Let's dig in. Well, I've been in Bangkok before. I know how real pad thai tastes. Now let's see if this pad thai is even better than the one that we tasted inside of the mall. Was it better? Yeah. <laughs> it was really nice. And here we have sticky rice mango, which I think tastes like a dessert. It looks delicious. Yeah. I don't know if what these small things are, but we got some coconut milk to pour over this and it's really nice. So it was quite fun experiencing this mall because it was like a mixture between a mall with like regular shops and like a market yeah. kind, of, yeah, kind of vibe. Yeah, you could actually go around between those kind of markets and you can bargain down the price and that is nothing that we have ever seen in a mall before yeah <laughs> unfortunately we didn't find what we were looking for we didn't find her address and we didn't find me a shirt but hey sometimes that's the case right yeah. we have to uh, move on to the next mall maybe to see if we can find anything but you won't be able to follow us there because we were going to put down the camera, relax a little bit and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thumbs up if you like what we're doing on this channel. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye! bye.